Hello and welcome, guys, to PUBG Labs, where we talk about a bunch of different stuff, including some topics, hot topics in the uh, in the world, some game topics, guns, whatever, whatever it is, with podcasts while playing games. So we're doing game casts, we make scientific clips. You know what? Enough of that. This is your host, Jay Wan Lee, and welcome to today, today's video. Uh, we're joined by Isaac or Sean. Who is our editor? Hi. And we are also joined by the Uzi one user. Well, we, you saw him last time, but he wasn't speaking. He is speaking today. So introduce hey, yourself, yep. Uzi. I introduced hey you there. as yesterday as our physics guy. So elaborate. So yeah, I do physics basically. So I look into the PUBG cl the clips of the gameplay and in analyze about the physical phenomenon that has happened in the game. That's which will right. be you know, you uh, another it. video. Yes, which yeah, will we'll, be we'll, on we'll be starting on, on that. We'll try three different things. We'll do regular gameplays, um, full length gaming podcast, and lastly, the little mini fun so called educational clips. So that you can tell your mom that you're watching something educational. Even Anyways. though she will doubt as hell. Mm, well, it is educational. We are talking about physics, real life issues, yes. topics. So a perfect excuse. I mean, and if you do focus, there's going to be a lot of good takeaway messages here. So why don't you get us started? Hit that start button. We are in Livic. Okay, so we're, we are in... We are in Livic, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Somebody drop us. And... Sh Sean and Jinwon are apparently doing a fist fight. No, I'm not. Now it's called a apple fight. Okay, whatever. So... Alright. So today's topic is mostly going to be focused on guns. Guns. I mean, guns are an essential part of this game. Lots of guns. Like, we kill people with guns in this game. Uh. So we'll be talking about three aspects of guns in this game. So we'll be starting off with analysis on guns and their basic mechanism. Um, and second of all, we're going to be identifying each of the guns we pick up. We'll tell you a little background and explain. Lastly, we're going to have a little discussion on guns. Some ethical debate, some current issues. Uh, well, mostly a lot of different issues in the U.S. because the U.S. is one of the most prominent countries. We better drop, John. We better drop. Firearms. They have the Second Amendment. So anyways, yes, that is assuming that we don't die before we can we get to talk about the thing. Oh uh, well, we'll continue off in the next match. I told you this is a full length game podcast, mm, and I say yeah. full length, I mean full length. So also we have five bandits falling in the different things in the area, which is not good for us. All right, all right. Team. You've got bogies on W. Jeez, this is bad. They landed on the rooftop. They are. Ooh, they got they the high ground. ground. It's over, Anakin! They got the they high ground. The high. I have the high ground! I found a scar, L. I found an AKM, which is not ideal. So, AKL. AKM is one of the... I guess, the modernized version of an AK-47. Essentially, that's what it is. But, it's... Okay, there's two... Okay, ARs. Um, we're just gonna start talking about ARs first, since we both picked up an AR. I just yes. picked up on AKM and M762. Uh, okay. Well, actually, never mind. All of these uh, it was, guns it, it, it was SKS. Picked... Never mind. It was SKS. And okay, an so AKM. all of these guns that we just picked up have one thing in common. They are one. Okay, so there's two different. Okay, I was gonna talk about this before, but let me start again. There's Two different major families of ARs. And this is like a long debated topic as well. Like what the superior AR is. But there's one 
one utilizing the gas stroke piston system. Uh, whether it be long stroke gas piston, short stroke gas piston, like all of these guns that we picked up have a gas piston, which actually operates the gun. So you know how a basic firearm uh, is basically recoil or gas operated. So what it essentially means is when your gun fires, it releases a lot of that gunpowder burning. So like that gas has got to go somewhere. And a lot of times that gas is directed back into your bolt, which is the moving part of the gun uh, that's inside, that's hitting the for, uh, primer and setting off that bullet. It's directed back at the bolt, but somehow it's got to be directed back at the bolt. So they got to have a gas. But the piston family, essentially what they do is they have this little piston that push uh, is pushed back by the gas and so yeah that piston actually does most of the work is the gas isn't directly going back to the bolt and the AK was like one of the first ARs to do this I guess I mean the most prominent AR that does this not yeah assault rifle that does this uh, I, I, I got mistaken because ARs usually refer to a family of guns that are dubbed the ARs, AR-15s. I got confused there. We'll be, we'll be there in a second, but... Yeah, basically, these guns have a gas piston. And one benefit of this is that the debris that oftentimes uh, happen from having... Like, these firearms, obviously, they're going to have a lot of... Like, tons of gunpowder. Oh, wow, wow. Jeez, where, where's that firing coming from? Second, okay. Oh, are you serious, man? I got zero kills. Oh, okay, anyways. Back to the main topic here. I hear footsteps inside the building. Inside the building? Yeah, yeah Okay, let's the raid the that, building. That, 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 we'll get back right to the podcast to after we um, survive. Obviously, yeah, that comes first. first. Mark the location. Okay, so, yeah, the major parts of the guns are not going to... Okay, wh how are you guys whipping up so many kills, like... I only... I only have two kills, Jim. Well, I have zero. Okay, Sean great. Has... Did I just add a kill for you, Sean? No, Sean just died. Wait, you got knocked out? Dude, yeah. let's go help him out. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta go. Sean, where is he? Shoot. Oh shoot, I missed. Oh no. That's not good. Damn it. Wanna hit? I'm nailing them oh, a sh times. There were two of Are them. Are you serious, dude? Dude. There were two of them, sorry. Where are they? Um, right where I died. That's not a good idea. Also, it I should ditch idea, the scar and get the MK12. The problem is, though, forgot where it was. I am not good with long range AR firing. And I am not ashamed to admit that. I just do. There he is. It was a bot. It was a bot? I think that was. Well, that's not. That's a bot. Okay, that's MK. A bot for sure. Yeah, MK14. Holy oh. And new zone. Stop swearing, Careful. please. Huh? Stop swearing. Did I just swear? Please. You said those. How did? Oh. Oops! <laughs> that one? Come on. Oops, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. Well, okay, you know what? Since we're at it here, why don't we talk about the other huge family of ARs? And Which is? actually, the M416 or the actually HK416, which is called 
which it is called in real life. Uh, that gun. That is called in real life. Is based off of the AR-15 yeah. family made by the Eugene Stone, made by Eugene Stoner himself. Uh, on the, it was actually AR-15 first, and that was adapted into the M16. That's what it was. Armor light. Oh sh. Oh my god, my aim sucks. I apologize. And the aim assist is killing me. There's an aim assist? Yes, there's an aim assist in the game. I don't think I need to tell you. I don't know about that actually because I never felt it. <laughs> Joan, you're dead. What? what? You're pretty much dead. It's, it's a Mark 14. It's a Mark 14. I told you it's a Mark 14. Dude, oh, like that I'm on like where that. You. Where is that dude? Behind the tree. Or behind your rock or whatever. Also, one of the apartment too. So there are two guys Jesus. looking for you. I see him, I see him. Yeah, the key's behind the rock. There's no one on the rock and one in the apartment. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I have a smoke. Bro, you bastard. Yeah. Oh, Did he just throw? Ow. A frag? Someone. Did I? Yes. Oh, I did. John, pull out your weapon, what the heck? Your head is straight toward it. Okay. Yeah, it's the AR-15. They use a direct impingement, which is just directing the gas right back at the bolt. Has many disadvantages over the gas piston, except that um, the AR is just built to be more precise. However, the middle ground is a short stroke gas piston system, which is the M416. And it was built by HK on behalf of the request of the US military. Yes, US military, specifically the joint of uh, JSOC. Okay, I can't remember the acronyms from the back of my head. I'm not a monster. Specifically, the M416 I is hear most well on the known. Left. Oh, you mean suppressed gunfire? Maybe, I don't know. Yes, it's most primarily it's um its users are Delta Force, especially in the US. Delta Force, they have a reputation for using the M416 or the HK416 to be way more precise. I think it was copyright issue. They had to use a different name. So yeah, they use a short like stroke of action for the pistons. So it basically acts like a direct impingement while avoiding a lot of the repercussions from having a direct impingement. Joan, I recommend falling on the ground from now. Oh jeez, this is not good. I told you to go low on the ground. I'm so low right now, dude. Whoa. I'm not gonna crawl in this house, dude. It's not gonna do anything, dude. Out in the field. Oh. I dude, like it's okay, sometimes it's actually better to run than to crawl. Okay? Not like that though. Not in this situation. Hello. Oh, there's dude right in front of you. Shame on there was dude there was dude right now right in front of you. And he's right in front of you. <laughs> oh. I knew it. The actual F was going on. Oh sh Okay. Don't stop swearing. Stop swearing though, you don't need to swear. <laughs> Sorry! This is a this is something that's gonna be on YouTube. God God dang it. And you all right, just reminding you, this is a suffer. Christian YouTube channel that is family friendly. 
and yet you keep swearing. So the guy yes, says although I'm not Christian, and although Uzi's not Christian, this is a Christian YouTube channel. It is not a Christian YouTube channel, Jalen. It is a Christian YouTube channel. The editor Stop is Christian. The editor is Christian, okay? No, that's not why it's a Christian YouTube channel, okay? Then why is it a Christian YouTube channel? You know, let's just call it the uh, the, the religiously neutral YouTube channel. My f okay. Uzi, <laughs> she's just saying my what? My freaking. Okay. Hmm. Tells me not to curse. Curses himself. <laughs> I said freaking. How's freaking a curse? Freaking. Freaking. Just click ready already. I'm just a few moments later. <laughs> much, much later. Are we going or no? Heat it up. We're gonna still, we're still gonna get owned. Whoa, isn't that kind of the point here? No. What a noob. <laughs> what the? This is gonna be one hell of a hot drop. What? Oh, and I, I have a revolver. Good. Tell Which them about the provides revolver. a perfect segue for... Segue. And, wow, this game is lagging so much on me. Same I thought right. I adjusted here. the graphics. No, I think it's because of the, like, Adjust the server. graphics. Uh, aren't we on Korean server? No, we're not. Dude, which server are we on? Can we check? I'm getting shot at. It's at 80 milliseconds. Oh, 28. Also, I only have a pistol. I only have a shotgun. And that pistol... Just picked up on all... Also, I got a pretty important message from Uzi. on 19 Uzi. level knockout. Uzi. Uzi. No <laughs> I was so okay. I was surprised so bad. Okay. Were you dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Got jumped. Oh shoot! It, what? Help me out before I die. Die. Wake me up. Where are you? Oh, help Can we me leave out. this match already? He's throwing a nade at me. Wake me up before you go, go. You're dead. I'm not dead just yet. John, just run for me. Help me. Oh no, I'm dying. Oh no. You're not dying. But I hear footsteps running right at us. And I'm scared as a little freaking piece of cat. Yeah, like I'm, I'm seriously scared. Yeah. I do, I see Too it. much infighting. Oh, second building. Yeah, no, second building. In front of you. Yeah, right 260. You. That's the building I died in. Also, dude, do you have any health kits? Who, me? Uh, well, you're dead. Not the well, I kids. had a lot of bandages. Just energy okay. drinks. Uh, I'll, I'll take any. Okay. Uh, like, look at my health bar. Okay, okay. I keep hearing first up to your right, Joe. Take this. Because they're... Take it. Take it. Take the energy drinks. Take this freaking... Take it. No, there's somebody inside the house. I know there are somebody inside the house. There's like three people there. No, like right next to you. What? No. That's Sean. Bruh. No. I'm being paranoid. I don't have a nade to throw into that house. There's nobody in the so house, I'm... I think. Yes, there's like two or three people in that house. Why are there? Maybe they left. Yeah, I think they left. Also, the game's really being bad for me today. Not so bad I told for you, me. I think it's a server. I think this kind of happened to me too. Maybe it's for Android. <gasps> Good job. John, where are you? Wait, 
por esa. Wait, you don't have any ammo? So, get, go get some more ammo. He's gonna watch you. We, you know, guys, we sucked. Okay, so I found a gem one. So he wasn't able to continue with us until the end, but he did explain a lot about guns so we will just overlay his voice over the over our gameplay clip so that you guys can learn about guns let's talk about bolt action rifles and how they use a bolt no i don't know a little know bit of a background story on the m14 and we are currently at sano diving towards camp alpha a little bit on the m16s i already did for the M16. We are diving straight in. I don't know how uh, bolt actions work, but okay. All right, so I there's a bolt, you here. manually rock it back and put it back into place. You click the trigger and the little, uh, the little primer Hang or the hammer, hammer in some cases. Uh, it gets released. It's the primer of the bullet. The gunpowder inside ignites, will it spin pew. through the barrel and goes. Yeah. Yeah, what else? What else? The the background story of the M14s. They were using the Vietnam War first. M14. You know, the... Oh, my mom didn't yeah. call me right now because the I MK have a 14. feeling that she might. The MK14 EBR, which is the gun in the game. It's, it's an M14. In the Vietnam era, they were like um, the guns. Standard issue, but they switched to M16 at the last minute, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because back in the Vietnam War, when they were first getting into it, they're still used to the tactics from World War II, using like rifles with la large calibers. This concept of assault rifles weren't really in their minds, but then like right before the U.S. military decided, or like after a few months. They decided that the M14's recoil at full auto was uncontrollable, and so they had to come up with the 16, which nice was quite successful. And so it's been modified and been used as a DMR after that. And that's uh, random explanations. You know, the legendary M AKM, Mikhail Klashnikov, he was a Russian general. It's marvelous designing feature is it's simplest. The gun is highly simple, that's why it's so reliable. But they do require a bunch of different stamping techniques that are like harder to replicate. Hmm. So Sean, what guns do you have right now? A vector and AKM. So you have a vector and an AKM? Mm -hmm. I currently have a Vector and an M16. So about the M16, John already mentioned. He already explained how the M16 was the replacement for the M14. But here's the thing here. The endgame M16 is actually a model of the M16 called the M16A4, which only provides a uh, burst burst fire, three round burst fire, and single fire mode. It does not have a full auto mode. The reason for that was during the Vietnam War, the, the American military decided that allowing soldiers to use full auto mode with the M16 resulted in a waste of bullets. 
And so they decided to delete that function from the M16. That resulted in the M16A4 having not having the option full auto um, full auto option. So yeah, there there you have it. Now you know why the in-game M16 does not have a full auto option. Uh yeah, Uzi right here, or well not right now, but was holding an AUG A9. Or QBZ, aka QBZ95 of the Chinese army. Uh, well, those I'm still holding designs a basically arc. put the magazine to the back of the stock. So, like behind the trigger. Essentially, what that does is you move all the parts of your gun back, a lot of the primary parts back into where that magazine sits. And what that does is mm. it makes the gun much more compact while having the same barrel length. And having a long barrel length means the bullet's going to travel better as it has more time to spin okay, inside that barrel and it has better okay. stability. Okay. The safe zone is not being friendly to us today. We have to move. So, like, you can have a compact gun while having the same perks of a long gun. Uh, let's keep moving. That's there. However, the magazine's in a really funky spot, and um, the trend is going back to the regular ARs just because of how awkward the reloading is. And like, I think they applied that in the game too. The AUG A3 takes a long time to reload. To reload, yes, yes and that's quite realistic. Like, and the M4 is really quick to reload Marked compared to the AUG. I see it. Yes. Okay. It's not a good one, but it's a vehicle, nevertheless. Yeah, I'll take that. I mean, balance-wise, that was quite okay because the AUG is really Accurate. good in terms of recoil control, but it's actually quite realistic. Mistakes with, with the voice commands, you know that? What? Making mistakes with the voice commands, Char. Yeah, I know. Lol. You should get used to these. Hey, don't you leave me alone! Nah, that's fun now. Hey, look, Sean. Doing a long run.
Come down with me. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Oh, come on. Noob! Wait. How did he heal up? Suck. That should be it for today's podcast. Okay. I'll see you later. That's about it. If you like this video, click the like button, smash the subscribe, click the bell. Please comment about what topics you would like to see next. And, uh, and we'll see you later. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye, guys. Okay, All right. we Hello, guys, and welcome to PUBG Lab, where we talk about daily podcasts, um, guns, make scientific clips. And most of all, play PUBG. And uh, this is your host, Jaywon. Jaywon, 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 Jaywon. Yes, what? Sorry, what? can you go again? I think I interfered it in, like at the beginning. Oh, frick. No. Okay, you know what? Let me turn off this annoying background music. Mm hmm. That's where the way I like it. Okay. Let me clear my mouth up. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome, guys. To PUBG Labs, this is your host, J1 Lee, and this is, oh, you know what, I'll go again. Hello and welcome, guys, to PUBG Labs, where we talk about uh, daily podcasts. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay, once again. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I said freaking. How's freaking a curse? Freaking. Freaking. Just click ready already. I'm just... Just click ready already. Yeah, click ready already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but he keeps on forgetting. Also, I got a new emote, so let me let me put that on there. Give me this one.